Hello everyone and welcome to another Thomas video. So today we're going to be taking a look at Jund Shadow Deck in Thomas format. And this might actually be the best reanimate deck that I've played. So there is some insane recursion going on here. So let me explain what is going on. So you have the reanimate and troll of cause of doom package. Obviously that's really good. But let's say if you add the Jar Soul into the equation, if you reanimate the Jar Soul, then Jar Soul can reanimate another card from the graveyard. But let's say if you add Perilous Iteration to the mix, Perilous Iteration says, seek a card with mana value 2 or less and a card with mana value 3 or greater. So in this deck, it is guaranteed to get a Jar Soul or Troll of Cause Doom as your top end with perilous iteration so potentially you could even get troll of cause of doom and reanimate together when you cast a perilous iteration what's really cool about perilous iteration is it actually puts it into your hand and not into the exile pile so troll of cause of doom stays in your hand and you could even swamp cycling putting it into the graveyard into reanimating in a single turn but let's say if the Perilous Iteration got you a Jar Soul instead, then Jar Soul can get back a Reanimate and then reanimating something else. And while all of this is going on, Reanimate is going to lower your life total, and that is going to synergize with the Shadow. So I'm pretty excited to try this deck out. So having said that, I'm going to be hopping over to some Timeless Pass of 3 to show you guys how the deck does. So let's hop on the bird. Well kind of a mediocre hand i'm not gonna lie i think this is a mulligan wow that actually sucked a lot wow yeah uh that just happened that really sucks huh Apparently in an 18 land deck, you're supposed to keep a bad hand like the first one that you see. That kind of sucked, didn't it? Fatal push, yup. Island and a swamp. Hmm. Can I get a reanimate? Um, I think we just pass. Esper color. Okay, look at this combo. Okay. I think we should keep grabbing Shocklands. Ooh, that's really nice. Why didn't they play Teferi? Um, I guess we're just... I mean, either way, we're kind of in a bind, right? But I guess we don't want the Perilous Iteration getting countered, so... Let's just do that. I mean, honestly... Despite us mulliganing down to four, we're only down one card, right? Look. I mean, that's going to change with Dick through time, but it's kind of insane. We mulligan down to four this game, by the way. And this is what we have. One ring, sure. 
think I'm just going to put the, the shadow back onto the battlefield. We actually don't have any more shock lens anymore. We drew all of them. Two overgrown tombs and two blood crypts. Wow, they're tapping out. Unbelievable. And they're sacrificing their Teferi? Really good for me. A Bolt? How good is a Bolt? I think we actually have to Bolt the Teferi here, right? Otherwise, we, we can't cast the Jarsal. With the, the Perilous Iteration. Time will tell. Kind of a weird game, not going to lie. Good chance they have a swords, right? Good chance they have a swords. Death Rise Shaman. Okay. I could play out this Char Soul. Because I get back a Thoughtseize here. And if they counter the Jar Soul, we can get back the the, ca the counter Jar Soul onto the battlefield. Mana Drain. Sure. Should I cast a Jarsal here? They have a Bowmaster though. Let's decline. And just attack. Probably Swords, right? They have a Shawl's Resedic and a Fatal Push. So they can uh, Bowmaster the Jar Soul. Double, double Bowmasters. Okay. Okay, that's fine. They probably want to... Um... Oh, Shaldred. I, I was wondering whether or not, like, one ring plus Shaldred is good. I think the only reason we're really in the spot is because we mulligan to four. I mean, this is actually a pretty good mult to four, honestly. Probably better than better gaining a life here.
You know what? Even though we lost, insane. I'm not gonna lie. That was an insane game for a multi four. Okay, needles in, blood moon in. I think I'd rather have a fatal push over lightning bolt in this in this matchup. Um, do I want a surgical extract? Maybe pick your poison is also pretty good. Let's get rid of a goif. Not really sure about bolts either, but I guess it, it gives us some reach. Uh, nah. Let's get rid of a bolt. Let's try this. Okay, let's try this. We got a Thought Seize, Perilous Iteration. Pretty good set of cards. Mana Drain and a Counter Spell. They can't even cast it at the moment. I think we should still get rid of a. Mana Drain. Let's see what we get. Wow, look at this package. Look at that package. I mean, might as well, right? Since we can reanimate the Death Shadow if, if they Fatal Push. Okay, a little bit mean. Pick your poison, I guess, for one ring. It's not bad. They're just gonna um, stall it out with Orchipo Masters. Another fatal push. Pretty annoying. Okay. We're gonna be able to like hard cast this troll soon. Wow. Um, I guess we'll just get the counter spell out. Reanimate. Look at how great reanimate is. We haven't seen NT this game. Surgical? Okay. Maybe I should have, um, Fatal pushed and Surgical their own Orcish Bowmaster. In case, um, if we were expecting a Surgical from opponent. Yeah, that could have been an option. Definitely could have been an option. I'm kind of, like, hesitant to Fatal push. Because what, what if they have a Shieldred? But I mean, I guess we're like winning soon. Like they like they only have two cars in their hand. And I mean they just used double fatal push and a shoulder's edict. Are they really gonna have another one? Right? I mean if if they do, then sucks for me, right? They don't have three islands. Well, 
Let's see what they get. Lucky. Wow. Insane. My opponent's actually gaming here. I think I should still pick your poison this. Okay, sure. The reason why I have to kill this is because if they have a shoulder in their hand, it's... Not gonna be a good time, right? It's not gonna be a good time. So, we'll just... Wait, what happened there, Orcish Bowmaster? How did it get exiled? What killed the Orcish Bowmaster? Wasn't it a Fatal Push? Okay, I am so confused right now. What happened to Orcish Bowmaster? I am so confused. <laughs> yeah, I am so confused. What happened to Orcish Bowmaster? I fatal pushed this. Didn't I? Yeah, I guess we'll just do it again. The thing is, they can't even fetch, right? They came in the fetch for a black source at one life. Nice. Okay, maybe Blood Moon is really good because check this out. If, if I can sneak in a Jar Soul, I keep getting into a situation where the Jar Soul is at three counters. So maybe like I sneak in a Blood Moon and they counter and then I get it back. Also, looks like, like they have infinite removals. Maybe we just like play Tarmogoyfs. I think our removal spells is okay. And I think Two Pithing Needles and two Pick Your Poison is also okay. Just not sure about the Blood Moon. Yeah, because I'm bringing in too many um Cyborg cars with Pick Your Poison and Pithing Needle, I, I don't think I can actually bring in a Blood Moon. It's just too much. Maybe go down on a copy of a Fatal Push. Okay, reanimates. I'll just start with the Thoughtsies into probably Deathrite Shaman. Brainstorming after a shock. Well, now that opponent actually gave me a turn, maybe Deathrite Shaman is actually the better card to go for. Because they don't, they're not holding up a mana for Fatal Push. I think this is a little bit better tempo-wise. I might just reanimate the, the Death Ray Shaman. Okay, nice. So we'll Thought Seize into a reanimate. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Mm. 
so good. Like, I don't care about my opponent, um, Shelter's Edict thing. Right? Because I have a Jar Soul. And I'll just go Jar Soul next turn. What's insane here is if I Jar Soul gets a counter, I just reanimate. I just reanimate. So dig through time is gone. Super nice. Also, the way it works is if I reanimate the Jar Soul, it actually keeps the intensity. The intensity is perpetual. So in response to this Death Rite Shaman, they might actually Shaldra Thetic. They did not do it. Why did they not do that? Should I reanimate the Orcish Bowmaster? Or just play the Jar Soul? I think we should just play the Jar Soul. Okay. Um I guess we reanimate the shaman and the bowmaster. <laughs> this is ridiculous, right? This is actually ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> this deck, wow, that was some recursion. That was insane. Jarsal, Thoughtseize, um, Reanimate, Get Back That Right Shaman, um, Jarsal, Gets Back Reanimate, um, Reanimating their Orcish Bowmaster, like, completely absurd. Uh, sure, I'll keep this. Okay, they're also playing Death Shadow. They kept a one lander. I'm kind of tempted to get the Brainstorm, but they have a slide up hand. Um, I mean, I'll just take the Brainstorm, honestly. I'm not sure if I sh should actually shock here. I don't have a that shadow in my hand, so and if I get a reanimate, I would like my life total to be healthy. Lucky Classic Thoughtsies bug. Classic. Can I get a land please? I'll take a land gladly. Gladly take a land. Hey, that's my creature. You're cheating. That's what I was gonna do. Well, that sucks. Yeah, that really sucks, doesn't it? I discarded a brainstorm. They get a brainstorm into a reanimate. What is a sorcery?
I guess we just um have to try to aggro them down, hoping we get a lightning bolt. We got a bit unlucky there, didn't we? Stubborn Denial. You know what? Let's not show them what we're playing. That was a bit of a disappointing game. This will bring some Surgical. I guess Inti is going to be good. Tarmogoyf is going to be good. These are all going to be good. Bowmaster is good also. I'll cut a Perilous. Bolt is going to be good against them. I guess we have to cut Jarsal. And Tarmogoyf's. Okay. We'll get a fast death shadow. Bowmaster, Bowmaster, Unearth. Um again they kept the one lander. I'm gonna go for a similar plan. I'll go into a Bowmaster, into an Inti. How are you so good at this game? Never punished. Crazy. I'll probably reanimate the Orcish Bowmasters. Yeah, I'll probably reanimate the Orcish Bowmaster. These are all good cars though. I guess um, I'll just pass on the um, NT trigger because they have a Bowmaster too. I mean, they have an Unearth. I kind of have to reanimate. Because I want to get this Death Shadow out. Man, that sucked. Two games in a row. Keeping a risky one lander and we take away their draw spell and it doesn't go punished. Do they have a reanimate? I think I take away their treasure proofs. Um, I'm gonna ditch the fatal push now. Nice, very nice. Okay, that sucks. Huh. They didn't reanimate the shadow. I felt like that was a pretty good opportunity. So, ideal four? So I, I gotta make a situation where if they reanimate the troll, they lose the game. Oh. Oh. 
That's good. Okay. I mean, they die if they reanimate anything. Okay, just have double death shadows. That's also insane. Wow. My opponent is a gamer. How are they doing that? How is my opponent doing that? Okay, Death Rite Shaman. Okay, they don't know how Trample works. Nice! We stole a game! That's exactly what I was hoping for. Okay, my opponent is insanely good at... Okay, also... They keep keeping a really bad hand... That I could just get Blood Moon very easily. So maybe I'm just supposed to actually Blood Moon here? I'm also kind of thinking just spamming the creature also might get us there as well. What if I don't play Death Shadow? Or maybe like no reanimates? I feel like that's also wrong. Maybe I go down on a copy of reanimate. That also seems wrong. So I guess we're just going down on Tarmogoyf again. Maybe one less troll, one less extract. Not a fan, honestly, not a fan of this hand. But the only reason I'm keeping it is because I have double Thoughtseize here. Wow. Um. That's a bit of a surprise from them. They have a swamp this time. So they can't cast Mana Drain. What is even Mana Drain for? I guess they could hard cast like Troll. That's something they can do. I'm gonna take a Shadow Heart. I'll just flash in on Orcish Bowmaster. Grab the swamp now in case we draw in case we draw a blood moon. Oh, that's really good. So thought sees, and then we perilous iteration. Just grab a forest. Reanimates. Okay, now we're talking. They get one mana. Place a watery grave and pass. Okay. Um. So, these two, I have to play, but I don't have the mana. So, what's really nice is, I mean, Perilous Iteration, this is gonna go to the graveyard, but I kind of want to play the Reanimate now. I'm confused what to do. I 
I think I'm just going to reanimate. Yeah. Ooh. That's a good one. Okay, that's also a good one. We also have a Blood Moon. Look at this. Insane? I guess being on 3 life isn't... Very good. <laughs> I'm kind of scared, honestly. Yeah, I'm I'm a bit scared. Edict. I'll sacrifice a troll. I think Jarsol is much better card. I could run out Bowmaster, but I think just uh getting value out of that is a lot better at the moment. So they can't flash an Orcish Bowmaster here. Okay. Yeah, being at three is not very cool. Let's see. Okay, double bolt is insane. So I can Fatal Push. If it's a Bowmaster, I can Fatal Push Bolt. Okay, bit scary, bit scary. Thought it was going to be a Bowmaster for sure, coming out. What is that? That's cool. Oh, a death shadow. You don't say. Why is it tapping like that? Yeah, honestly, what I'm really scared about is, um... So let's say I... Yeah, I, I was afraid of casting the Giganta because what could end up happening is... Maybe like a Bowmaster, and an opponent plays another Bowmaster on their turn. And then, I, I don't know, somehow they bounce the Death Shadow. Then two gets in, right? So I just die. Ooh... Ah, uh, I don't want to multi five. I don't. I don't. You know what? They they might cycle it for us. No. What are you doing? They're probably looking at my hands like, oh man. I guess you can't take Death Ray Shaman, since I can just reanimate the Death Ray Shaman. I'll go Tomb, and I'll reanimate the Deathrite Shaman. No! Mm. 
They don't really like taking reanimate. Interesting. Very interesting. That is the smallest Tarmogoyf I've ever seen. Yeah, not the greatest start, I will say. I did keep a one lander. Wait. You have to have reanimate though. I was gonna say, like... That would be pretty bad. I think I'm just running Inti out. I think I'm passing? Bit of a weird game. That shadow, yup. Hmm, interesting. They decided not to attack. Edict was actually a good draw because now they have to choose between do I want to gain life or deal 2 damage, but if I deal 2 damage, that Thrice Shaman can eat the land and then just play the Death Shadow. Right, so it's kind of a lose-lose situation, honestly. Yeah, that's this is the best thing they could have done. I don't think they can attack with a Death Shadow. Because that lets me play Death Shadow. Okay. Seems like they... Okay. This only makes sense if they have a Fatal Push. Or, I guess, Unholy Heat. But... Okay, if I take 4, I go to 5, which puts the shadow into a 9-9. Nine, nine. Yeah, they can't attack. I think opponent is dead, actually. Um, boom, boom. So we'll go for the double death right shaman activation here. Nice. Okay, we're playing the same deck. We're playing the same deck. Uh, in this matchup, we have to be a little bit careful of reanimate because also they're they're playing unholy heat. Maybe that's something we should consider instead of lightning bolt, or maybe instead of fatal push, because fatal push is kind of meh, isn't it? Sorcery instant speed creature land. Yeah, maybe that's something we should consider instead of a instead of a fatal push. Um, playing Unholy Heat could be really nice. Um, well, we're going to bring in Molten Collapse and a copy of a Fatal Push. Um, I'm going to go down on a copy of a Reanimate and a copy of a Surgical. Maybe go down on a copy of a Jarsal. Eh. Actually, you know what? This is a matchup where Bowmaster is not very good, I think. I mean, is it though? Like, it's it's decent, I think. 
because it lets you chump block. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can I do it the second game? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yep, let's do it. We're on the draw. We're on the draw with the surveil land. We're on the draw with the surveil land. Well, I, as I did say that, but... I did say that, but... I think we might actually just, um... Bolt this. Oh, we just need a turn, right? We just need a turn. No. They got a lot of removals. We don't have a lot of removals. So I guess we should take like NT. Nice. I'm so greedy. I am so greedy. Let's get the bolt out. So we don't take damage from the bolt. The double bolt's gone. Really good for me. Edict. Super nice. I think I'll just uh, fetch Fatal Push. Like, do I want to take additional additional two? Probably not. Actually, it, I mean, if now that they have found the uh, that Shadow Mana, I think um, I think we just um, Fatal Push that instead. I could also just Fatal Push this, Shaldra's Edict this. Um, sure. Well, now they're not going to play their... I'm actually surprised they did this. They should have... Maybe waited for my turn. Take the two. Take the two. Molten Collapse. A Bolt. They are quite low. They are quite low. You know what, I'll take it. I'll play this out. I think we have this under control. Yeah. Probably perilous iteration into molten collapse. Let's say I attack. Um, what's the worst could happen? Orcish Bowmaster? King, I take four, and I'm still alive. I guess this way I win next turn with double bolt. I think we won. I think we won.
Good game. Good game. GG. GG. So, yeah, um, this build... I'm not sure what kind of list they're playing. Their list looks pretty similar to mine, but... I think the Perilous Iteration in this deck is just so broken. Okay, okay. So, I took this deck for a spin, and uh, we went 4-0. We went 4-0. Uh, the deck seems absolutely insane. It's just broken. I don't, I don't know what to say. I actually think this is probably the best reanimate deck that I've played so far. I, and I think this one actually might be a tier one potential. And I don't really say that too often. But just the sheer volume of recursion going on here is just absolutely insane. So if you haven't played reanimate with Jarsol, please do because this is just, this is just broken. It's absolutely stupid. Reanimate the Jar Soul, Jar Soul reanimating something else, right? And the fact that reanimate also, you can do it on opponent's graveyard as well. Like if you, even if you just get reanimate something small like Deathrite Shaman, that's still impactful. And every reanimate, you're progressing towards Death uh, Death Shadow. So, like so much synergy, right? And the fact that Jar Soul can bring back a Death Shadow. That in itself is, I think, kind of nuts. So the only card that kind of a flex slot at the moment is Tarmogoyf. Uh, you could play anything you want in the slot. So yeah, uh, that's going to be it for today's video. I had a lot of fun with this deck. Um, I've been playing a lot of uh, gimmicky decks recently and kind of tanking my rating. And it's it feels good to just record the video without having to change anything in the deck and just be done with it. Very happy. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye-bye.